You think Channing was excited about that? <laughs> hey, that's a, Channing is exactly the depiction of Derek Carr when he's <laughs> listening to Devontae Adams describe <laughs> that. That should be a meme. <laughs> uh, Devontae Adams is excited to play alongside Darren Waller and Hunter Renfro for these reasons on your screen right here. Over the last two seasons, all three of them rank among the top 17 players in the league in receptions. They're actually currently the only trio of teammates to rank in the top 25 over that span, a real three-headed monster. So, RC, when you sat down with Devontae Adams, there was so much you guys got into, yeah. but what did you take away as to what you think their expectations should be heading into this season? He's one of the most intelligent humans I've ever talked to about wow. football, right? To be able to explain the things that he has to explain, to be able to understand playing different positions, kind of talking about Josh McDaniel's offense and its complexity, yeah. but also how he's challenged himself to learn it because he understands moving around, it's what, what's going to make them better. Here's another thing. He's ultimately confident. Like, he legitimately believes, uh, his words, I'm trying to murder you every single play. <laughs> but to say that, but to also know that if he doesn't have the matchup, Darren Waller will win. If, if Darren doesn't have it, Hunter Renfro has an opportunity that there's going to be light boxes against the run. He believes that this offense can be the best offense in the NFL. And I think when you've accomplished what he has and some of the players on this team previously accomplished what they have as well. You start kind of seeing that chemistry through mini camp and training camp. You believe the sky's the limit and Devontae definitely does. Man, it's hard to figure out that division, right? Because there's so much sure. talent there, but it all does in a lot of ways go back to Derek Carr, who Tim, I think deserves a ton of credit for what he did last season with this mm. team. But yet mm -hmm. knowing who's on the team now, Devontae Adams being a notable member there, how much pressure is on Carr? All kinds of pressure. Cause nobody's gonna say if this offense struggles, uh, you know, Josh McDaniels, he can't put an offense together. Nobody's right. going to say, oh, they don't have enough talent. I mean, we're all sitting here in acknowledgement that they have three players in their offense that could easily catch 100 passes, you know, in the right environment. And so, yes, it's 100% going to fall on Derek Carr. And I think this, and, and you referenced it, Laura, what he did a year ago, mm. I think across the league, gave the, the amount of respect yes. that is now, yeah. you know, kind of his direction in terms of the type of leader he is. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, after the head coach was let go and after the off-the-field issues that they had right. and all the things that were going on in the league at the time, he was the spokesperson for that team. Yep. He was the leader in the face of it. The way he handled it was remarkable. And so I think now, like, does that matter from an on-the-field perspective? I would argue that it does. Yep. I think that it translates. And now, you know, now you're dealing with, more talent than you had around you a year ago. I think the only question ends up being is how quickly do they all learn that offense at the same pace hmm. and, and how comfortable are they with that offense? Ryan, you just talked about the complexity yes. of it. Things change after the snap in that offense. Is that an issue early on in the year, I think, is the concern. Yeah, right, and, and in that division, they don't have a whole lot of time, right, mm -hmm. to, to figure things out to that point. Let's talk specifically about that three-headed monster that we anticipate with yeah. Devontae Adams, Hunter Renfro, and Darren Waller. From the defensive perspective, how do you try and stop that? What would you do? Well, I think one thing is that churches are open during the week, <laughs> right? You don't necessarily have to wait till Sunday until chapel to start praying. And so I think, I think that's the first <laughs> thing. Now, on the other side of it is, it's almost like pick your poison. The one thing Josh McDaniels has been credited for doing throughout his career in New England is morphing week to week to find the best matchup, to find the best possible way to attack their opponent. And I believe you'll see that this year. When Hunter Renfro has a one-on-one -on -one and the field is spread out, he's going to work inside the number. When Darren Waller, Darren Waller gets to play the number one, you're going to figure out, is this a corner that's matching him? Is it a safety? And any Devontae Adams matchup is a mismatch unless it's two of them. And so when you look at these things and you think about Derek Carr, and here's what I'm going to say. I was talking to the head of their PR, and he spoke about how much respect Derek Carr gained in the building last year wow. for the way that he led and for the way that he carried this team to the playoffs. People look at Derek Carr like he doesn't have talent, right? When, when you watch, when you watch a really good quarterback in the NFL, if there's no rush on him, footballs do not hit the ground. Now, you might make a play or somebody might drop the ball. It's going to be where it's supposed to be every play. And I got to watch Derek Carr practice, and I was like, yep. That's what it's supposed to look like. This yeah. dude is a top 10 talent. Now he has these players around him along with Josh McDaniels. I agree with Tim. How long it takes to understand and master the offense is important, but when they do, they're going to be trouble and they're going to be difficult to stop.
you just wonder about how much of that narrative around Derek Carr came from the previous regime and John Gruden yes. having a reputation of always looking for the next quarterback. I think mm. it's a completely unfair rap that he got. Yeah. And he's had the numbers to prove it, but this year could be even totally different. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.